After spending Monday night at Mudaiga and Pangani police stations, the 16 suspects were in court to answer to graft-related charges. Mm -hmm. Treasury CS Henry Rotich appearing pensive during the proceedings. Rotich makes history as the first sitting cabinet secretary to be arrested and hauled to court in relation to graft charges. To the contrary, the DPP has been meticulous. The prosecution through senior counsel Taib Ali Taib and Alexander Muteti informed the court the suspect between 17th September 2014 and September 2018 jointly conspired alongside others not in court to defraud the government 244 million shillings in the development of Kimwarel multi-purpose dam. We are extremely prepared to move with this case as fast as this court is capable of moving forward. We want no adjournments. The DPP wants no quota, no leeway. He wants to get the job done as quickly as is humanly possible. The suspect were further accused of multiple counts, including abuse of office, conspiracy to commit an economic crime, conferring a benefit, single sourcing for the insurance of the project, and approving payment contrary to the law. According to court documents, all the suspects face similar charges where the government also lost 277 million shillings. Your Honor, the accused persons face serious charges, serious allegations involving public funds. No one can run away from that aspect. But as a matter of law, these remain nothing else but allegations. And allegations to face anyone is nothing else but a misfortune. If they are willing to bind themselves before this court, not to tamper with documentary or any other evidence, if they are willing to provide adequate sureties, for their attendance for the trial. <clears throat> if they are willing to accede to these conditions, we will have no problem with what they have requested. Appearing before anti-corruption Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti, the suspect denied the charges. The suspect were released on bail with the judge setting the bail terms for the CS and the PS at 15 million shillings cash bill or a bond of 50 million shillings. All accused to deposit their passports and all their traveling documents in court. As, a, as argued, if they left their passports behind, they are accorded 48 hours to surrender the same. <coughs> Otherwise, if they meet conditions of release, they will be released forthwith. The places of work of accused persons are considered scenes of crime and they should, not, they should keep away. If there is any need to visit their places of work, that should be done in the company of the I.O. All accused should not approach any witness in any manner for whatever reason. Such actions will lead to cancellation of bond. Each accused is required not to destroy any evidence in whatever form. If adequately brought to the attention of the court, such bond terms will be revoked and such accused will be denied bail till the determination of the case. The other suspect, including tender committee members for the Arol and Kimwarel Dams and NEMA Director General Geoffrey Wahungu, were ordered to pay a cash bill of 750,000 shillings. The court further directed those who failed to appear in court to report to the DCI by 2 p.m. on Thursday, failure to which they will issue arrest warrants. The case will be mentioned on the eighth day of August 2019.